without a doubt last episode best episode so far right but this is still the early game like you guys are saying every shonen show is slow it starts off slow we gotta find the good teammates right before we actually get into some fat heavy arcs i'm hoping we get into some serious shit like last episode let's begin you are cursed of the tokiri nah he's got kaoru now no, he turns back into the other side where he goes, Oro? I thought we we're going to remember this character in, in like a couple episodes, man. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> like, this is a long running show, right? Like a hundred chapters in, y'all going to remember the curse of Jine? I doubt it. <laughs> but, uh, salute for giving us an actual hype fight. <laughs> now that part, I want that to change. I want him to fucking kill people, man. Switch the blade up. Maybe this is the beauty on the run. Oh, it looks like a beauty. That's it. I'm sure we're going to have to go save her later. He's left you. He's abandoned you. That's right. I'm kidding. She has like abandonment issues. I know. <laughs> Look how she wore she got there. Gambling. Yo, I love gambling. Kids don't gamble. It's not gambling if you win, though. Come on, it's just a 50-50. Ah, oh, we're just abusing Kenshin's ridiculous eyesight to see, you know. <laughs> we're just scamming them. I feel like Hiten Mitsurugiryu should not be used for these kind of things. But if it gets the money to feed us, then fuck it. Oh, man, this ain't gambling. Yeah, you carry a fucking illegal weapon around all you want. True? True? Not a single undercover cop here? I mean, we are conning them, though. We're literally scamming them, but... Alright, fuck it, share. Was he even paying attention this time? Nekais is like one dot, right? Yeah. Gee, I wonder what's going on. He's only gotten seven in a row correct. Hey. Don't sound so excited about that. Are you you're really just gonna use a sword on her? Like she's unarmed. Probably into the gambling place? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Kenshin will save her somehow. Maybe Sanosuke will. Oh. That's, that's sad. I, I don't know who that is. No clue who that is, but okay. You should not be getting hooked up on this shit. This is like one and done. You do it once and you're fucking done. You're just hooked on it. It's not like a recreational drug. Like, this is like some hard, hard shit. Unless he was accidentally someone, I don't know, gave it to him, but what? There she is. There's two men chasing her with the sword. Please save me. Oh my god! <laughs> Imagine if Kaori was here. Are they evil though? They probably are, but we don't know the context. What does she do? Like, they stereotypically look evil, but what if... I don't know. She did something. Sanosuke? Sanosuke just punching them. Fuck the swords, right? Like, what kind of normal person would just walk... He's not normal. What kind of person would just walk up when they got swords in hand? You're just gonna punch him? Okay. Kanryu. No clue who Kanryu is. Alright, fuck it. Maybe Mr. Kanryu is the one distributing opium to people here. She's pretty tall. Mm. Opium trade. Opium trade, 100%. Ain't no way they casually mention opium and suddenly, oh, there's some shady entrepreneur outside. Gee, I wonder how I got so much money. Why did you get caught up in everything? Who are you? When did you get... Was he watching this entire time? It looks like a cat. From the roof? Okay. She has to be one of Kanryu's girls then. Why would they care so much? Whoa. Oh, she's a little bit of a bad girl. Oh, what was that? Okay. I mean, if we hire Kenshin on the side, I doubt you guys can do anything. Oh! Bo 
Oh, we're just flicking. Like, that's kind of crazy. Whenever you see flicking skills, flicking skills in anime, like how fast, how strong the flick has to be, or to basically be like a bullet. That's some insane flicking skills, man. Imagine that in the bed. Oh, tatami block. <laughs> Did it pierce? Oh, got prepared for that too. The tatami was unnecessary then. That was just to look cool. Yeah, we, we don't know shit. Sanosuke just gonna continue punching people, huh? Fuck it, dude. We don't need a weapon anymore. Maybe Sanosuke will be just barehanded martial arts from out here on out. What do we get in return? Oh, money. Okay, I'm in. <laughs> it's easy. <laughs> yeah, exactly what's going on here, lady. Oh. True. And potentially a third might have died from the opium that Kanye has been trading. Oh, opium. Opium. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, we don't give a shit about this. And all her money would be just drug money. You know, blood money. <laughs> Kaoru maybe like that. Look at, look at her. Ah, look at her. Go. What? She's gonna make a noise again. <laughs> Liar, that blush is lying. We brought another girl home. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Kaoru. Bitch, fuck Immediately, she shits on her fucking dojo. She got a bad personality, man. Okay. The girl as payment. Nice excuse, I guess. Coward, it's not like that. Uh, she's mad. She mad. Nope. Nope. Can he even lie properly? Oh, could he lie to her? Such a bad liar. Such a bad liar. <laughs> she believed it though. Oh my god. We're not doing human trafficking? I mean, it kind of seems like that though, huh? Why is Sanosuke getting the stray bullets? What the fuck? I could definitely see Sanosuke doing human trafficking. <laughs> what? Oh, oh. She got the whole mommy voice out too. She even got an ara. The sweaty little girl. I mean, I mean. Even Yahiko realizes. <laughs> I mean, she's kind of bad, you know? Bad in a good way. Oh, what if Kaoru admits? Say it. Declare it. So are you, bro. Yeah, where the fuck is she giving everyone free rent? Get the fuck out of my place. Oh, that's a lot of people. Holy shit. It's the the two bodyguards. The private army. They look like they OD'd, right? Or maybe they drowned? You need to tell us more about Kanyu, lady. Like, come on. Oh? Yo, look at everybody here and then look at him with that jacket. What the fuck? Who is this dude? He looks really important, doesn't he? Oh my god, look at those colors, man. Look at the colors. Is this Kanryu? That's him. Bro, look at his jacket! Look at his jacket! A little flick Maybe this is Kanryu? I'm going to send the glasses guys, Kanryu. Because, I don't know, he looks like a businessman. Huh? Oh shit, everybody's- uh, everybody's here? I want to see a fight with this guy. Look at his jacket. Where did he buy this jacket, bro? This jacket is not sold in this er current era, bro. What the fuck? Where did he get this jacket? Look at the collars! Why am I so obsessed about this guy's collar jacket? Holy shit! He just looks so out of place compared to everyone else, you know? Leader? He's not- is he Kanryu then? Maybe he's the leader of the private army? I don't know. Ah, there you go. So he is Kanryu. What is his relationship with Megumi? Probably just a girlfriend? Precious golden Hey, She's the source of the money? She gets the opium? What do you mean? What? You can't really start a fight in public, right? Yeah. Are you guys seeing that jacket? 
Yeah, look at his jacket, bro. Yeah, probably. Leader of something, the private army. Huh? Huh? The leader of what, though? The whole business? Huh? They're not ninjas. They are ninjas? Oh. He's a ninja? Yo, I thought ninjas are supposed to be really discreet. That guy's jacket is not discreet. I don't know. I, I, I think ninja is the guy that flicks the fucking bullet thing, right? This guy just looks like some kind of... At the age of 15. Aoshi Shinomori. He looks incredibly important though, huh? Yo, let's have a duel, man. Let's have a duel. Huh? It can't be what? Do they know each other? No, you, you really think Kenshin would lose to that? She is an extremely cunning girl. Smart. Kind of a piece of shit. Very smart though. <laughs> God. Don't listen, Kaoru. Don't. You might hear something out of context. Now they know you're outside. Yeah, like you and Yahiko. Nope, Sanosuke don't give a fuck. Sanosuke here just slapped him around. <laughs> Based Giga Chad. I bet this is not gonna be the last time that Kaoru gets held hostage or something or puts in danger. I love it when she's in danger. Because like, again, that's the only time that Kenshin gets serious and he turns into the Hitokiri side. But who's this? Oh. <laughs> fucking Yaiko, man. I'm like, wait, was it one of the ninjas? Oh. Ninjas attacking. Dude, our dojo. <laughs> Imagine all the fucking money we have to get to do the uh, the rebuilding of the walls and shit. Cause this isn't the first time they just broke in, man. This is a big boy. What are you? No, no, no human just looks like this. What do you mean? It looks like an Oni. All right, let's begin though. Ain't no way you guys can tell me at the end that that was a human, bro. Bro looked like an Oni, just gigantic red beast. It looks like we're going to some fights immediately, but I don't really care about these random dudes, right? I care about that guy with the popped collar jacket. My God, the collars are fucking sticking out. And he knew about Kenshin, probably because, you know, Tokiri Batosa is a really legend, right? Those two fighting in the future, oh, that's gonna be good. And Sanosuke, my man just might just end up punching the shit out of everybody for the rest of the series. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna pick up the sword, bro. Like, and the fact that they're intensely showing like, like a combo attack with Kenshin and Sanosuke, taking the guy out, Sanosuke punching Kenshin with the sword. Bro might just be a fist master. We'll see. But hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.